door if you have taken any external services from the vendor in respect of the repair and maintenance activity then for the processing of the repair and maintenance bill first you create the first you create the repair and maintenance notification with respect to equipment then you need to create the maintenance order we will discuss each and every activity step by step right so here we have executed the transaction code ih01 okay the ih01 screen is showing here okay ih01 screen is showing here here you need to fill the functional location where your equipment is still stored okay here you fill the first your circle code then your plan code dash then you can fill your dash with your study sdca code okay and select all the options available here and here you can fill the plan code okay right and you can execute the data here you can execute the data here right the system will showing you all the sdca available in 3002 plan okay 1030 is our circle code this is our plan code these there are various sdca available in 3002 plan you can choose your section accordingly okay you can choose your section accordingly means where your equipment is currently installed for which you are going to perform rmn notification okay so click on the right left hand side of the triangle you have list of exchanges available here okay list of the exchanges available here or list of the sections available here okay and uh, depending on your uh, choice you can click on the left side of the triangle i'm clicking on the anu palayam exchange uh, where uh, there is a various section in the exchange like broadband uh, mobile uh, electrical indoor and all and uh, i'm going in the broadband uh, section and in the broadband section there is a equipment but there are various options also available here like in cm electrical indoor outdoor transmission okay lead circuit okay various options available here uh, where battery installed and uh, ewsd mdf switch ewsd rsu various options is here okay depending on your choice you can choose we have chosen this equipment and go and click on the go to and create notification uh, click on the notification type that is the general maintenance preventive maintenance breakdown maintenance depending on your maintenance you can choose your uh, maintenance order okay i am choosing the general maintenance order with respect to my equipment okay so once you click on the system will showing this in this is in this space you can mention the detail because uh, d slam 2607 installation uh, service or something okay repair and maintenance service and something service because we are uh, creating uh, the test notification here so you can mention your actual service okay and you can fill the coding job here like uh, 
आई टी जॉब इंस्पेक्शन जॉब इलेक्ट्रिकल जॉब ई ए जॉब सॉफ्टवेयर जॉब एंड यू कैन एक्सपैंड योर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम हियर ओके and uh, click on the description uh, copy the description you can mention here you can fill the detail of your uh, job what you have done here in the available space okay the system is automatically fills the planner group main work center and all the detail all the details here okay and uh, system will fetch all the details here okay here i have mentioned that some software installation work has been done by external vendor or you can mention some uh, rnm job uh, has been done by external vendor right and uh, now you can uh, save your notification system will generate the notification number right now here okay system will generate the notification number a document has been generated now you can uh, note down this document number you can search from iw3090 code iw3090 code uh, from you can search okay again open this uh, notification we have opened this notification number and uh, by default the notification number is appearing here right now then you can click on the enter once you click on the enter uh, you have uh, this notification number uh, okay now you can click on this uh, create button and once you click on the create button system will ask the order type business area main work center and all okay so we have taken the general maintenance order okay and click on the tick button click on the tick button system will uh, take you this screen okay click on this screen this is your maintenance order screen okay fill the basic details like uh, priority revisions all the details okay now click on the operation tab okay and you need to choose the you need to choose this control key uh, pm01 is for internal job PM zero three for external plant maintenance external services. So you can choose here from PM zero three, right? And click on the tick button. Click on the tick button, and select this line and click on the external. calculation of labor meeting service package right and from here you can uh, fill the material group purchase group and uh, requisitioner detail vendor detail loading and loading points tracking number fw orders each and everything you need to fill here okay you can choose the purchase group and uh, here you need to purchase fill the purchase organization that is decentralized 2000 purchase organization okay if you have uh, any requisitioner detail i have filled the sd indoor 
okay sd indoor or sd outdoor and uh, if you have vendor code number then you can fill the vendor code okay and uh, tracking number you can fill okay uh, here you have lo lots of services like uh, uh, that uh, if you perform any services, then you need to fill the service number in the uh, next field. Okay, service number, short text, quantity, cross by class, cross element. So service number you should uh, find out from uh, search, or you can uh, find out from your uh, organization uh, list. Okay, this is the service number, and. Uh, this 98 is your uh, hsn code so you can choose any of the service number from here also okay i have chosen the service number here uh, this is the software installation and repair and one quantity and uh, that is number the grass price we have mentioned the 99 rupees a Depending on your choice, you can mention. Okay, depending on your actual uh, expenses, you you can mention here. Okay, in cost element, you need to fill the GL account of the repair and maintenance job or the software installation job. Please discuss with your account section because the sufficient budget should be available in this uh, GL account. Otherwise, you are not able to save your maintenance order or you are not able to generate the purchase requisition for this purpose you have uh, these are the repair and maintenance GL okay in you in which you can book this cost so GL account is very important and the sufficient amount of the budget should be available you can discuss with your finance and accounts teams of the BA or the plant okay so this thing is very important see i have i'm choosing the gl account here uh, 5020807 okay 50 and now i'm going to uh, click on the save button okay okay the next option is your maintenance order number has been generated now and your maintenance order had been generated now so please note down your maintenance order number and now you need to open this maintenance order number using IW32 okay using IW32 okay fill this maintenance order and click on the enter now the next job is to release your maintenance order okay and now you can release your maintenance order by clicking on the green flag okay so this is the release button okay once you click on this release then system will generate a pop-up message okay once you click on the save see here in the commitment check see costing log okay why why this error is occur because the sufficient budget is not available in our uh, GL 5020807 so you need to change the GL account or discuss the with your finance team to allot some uh, certain budget uh, in this GL so you can perform your uh, maintenance job okay so here I have filled another GL but this is not the correct GL right this is not the correct GL account but here I am showing you that uh, if I fill the correct GL in which the sufficient budget is available, then system will save this maintenance order. Okay, see, system will going to save this maintenance order. 
I repeat again before uh, filling the cost element, you should discuss with uh, your finance team that sufficient budget is available and you should book the cost in accurate GM, right? Okay, so our maintenance notification has been created now, maintenance order has been created now, now and release now and background purchase requisition has been created okay and now you can release this purchase requisition release this purchase requisition for further creation of the purchase order and uh, service entry sheet for the vendor bill okay the next process is you need to approve the purchase equation then you need to create the purchase order approval then you need to create the service entry sheet then Miro for this repair and maintenance job right so we have uh, successfully created the notification and the purchase uh, maintenance order and the purchase requisition and this is a very uh, conceptual activity because people are uh, just doing the job uh, and they they don't know what is the concept behind this why we are going to create the notification first we create the notification and inform to our officer that uh, such and such job is going to happen for with respect to this equipment then he will allow about the maintenance order and the external vendor has performed the maintenance job you can book the cost in the maintenance job and then a purchase requisition is generated and the purchase requisition is generated on the approval of the purchase requisition you can uh, send this requirement to your uh, planning cell mm cell or procurement cell for the creation of the purchase order with respect to vendor and then vendor has done the when vendor will complete the job you can verify the service using service entry sheet and after the verification of the service entry sheet and approval of the service entry sheet when it is supplied the bill and you can create the miro for the vendor payment this is the whole process of the repair and maintenance bill process I hope you understand these detail uh, this tutorial we have created for the test and understanding purpose um, if you think this is useful tutorial for you please press a like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section have a good day